true fact. Did you know Trump will truly hire Israeli masses to kill General Chai Wenge? A contagious hot rumor went wild last week as it reported that former finance minister Ignatius Chumbo is in trouble for particularly being caught red-handed in the process of engaging mercenaries from the dreaded Israeli National Intelligence Agency, Mossad. We took time to investigate the claims which have seen the following conclusion being assumed. The battle between the generals and Chumbo is not stealing money but hiring Mossad to kill them. The battle between Chai Panga and the gunman is not about corruption. No no no. But his knowledge about Mossad and the planned elimination of generals. Also think about it. Are Chai Panga and Chumba the only criminal elements the army wanted to wean off ZAMU PF? We have nearly a full month now. Are they not able to arrest more? You the reader. Don't you know about other corrupt officials? Isn't it that the generals are presently dining with some of them? I look at things properly and with an analytic eye. This fight is personal. Story is first-hand information given to a jail guard by Trombo at his prison cell, true. Yesterday we were told by Dr. Chombo's lawyer, Love M. Mad Hako the rumor is unfounded. He explained that there is not even a single mention of the aforementioned allegations. Meanwhile, the full text of the rumor is below. Every country with dictator keeps a certain amount of money in the central bank in case of a coup. This money is not touched or used by anybody except on the directive of the president. With Zimbabwe only two days before the coup d'etat, Mugabe had talked with the Israelites. Moed, that his military would like to make a coup d'etat. They discussed about the cost of hiring snipers and a bailin to counter this. The Israelites sent in a forward team to Zimbabwe two days before the coup for reconnaissance purposes, negotiating and signing of the contract. The main aim was to eliminate all the commanders of the ZDF before the implementation of the coup d'etat. On the day before the coup d'etat, Robert Mugabe summoned Trumbo, Minister of Finance, and Mangabja, Reserve Bank Governor. They discussed with Mosed about the costs. The deposit which was charged was US 10 million. Mangaja was ordered to release the money and give it to Chambo so that they would pay Mosed. Hence the statement by Grace Kanna Mimuchidi Munagone Kupfura Nesov Nagone Kupfura. She was confident their plan to eliminate Chai Winga, Shiri, Chiri etc. was going to work. Note if this plan had come to fruition. Kudzai Chai Pang also knew about the Mosed deal. Like Mayor he had all the hopes in it and never thought the coup d'etat would succeed particularly with the help of Mosed. That is why he was so daring to read his communique at Zanu PF headquarters. He was sure Chai Wing and his guys would not withstand Mosed and particularly with the assistance of Lung who had agreed to use Zambia as launch pad for Mosed. Mosed had already set up an office and drone lounge in Zambia. Mugabe, a May I, Trumbull. Chai Panga and Lung Wu never thought their plan would fail. That's why Chai Panga was even there enough to challenge the generals. Back to our story. 10 million deposit amount was collected and put at Chumbo's residence before the night of the coup d'etat. At the house were most Ed delete snipers. But everything went suddenly wrong for Mugabe and his team. Mangaja sold out their deal to the generals. He told them about most Ed and the 10 million deal. The coup d'etat went on before the 10 million was expatriated out of Zimbabwe by Mosed. Mosed and the 10 million were still at Trumbo's residence. The generals particularly knew the Mosed deal and the 10 million hence the need to raid arm to the tooth. The ZRP bodyguards at Trumbo's residence exchanged fire with the army. In fact they started firing. They were now under command of Mosed. They thought no one would beat them particularly with the help of the Israelites. At Chambo's residence four ZRP bodyguards and ten Mosed snippers were shot dead. Only one ZNA soldier died. That is why the entry at Chambo's residence was forceful. When the resistance was crushed the second phase was to find the ten million. During the exchange of fire between the coup d'etat soldiers and Mosed, Chambo had hidden the bags containing the money in the ceiling. I pack ache Chombo had no personal money of this magnitude at his house. So when confronted Chombo refused any knowledge of this money. 
So came the thorough beating. The soldiers knew it was there and Trombo was refusing. Trombo thought they would give him a minor beating and later leave him to enjoy his loot. He was totally wrong. It was not even Trombo who told them that the money was in the ceiling. The gunmen searched the whole house on their own until they found the money. This denial of knowledge of the money warranted more beatings to Trombo according to the gunmen. Also take note of events, Mugabe refused to resign at the first instance claiming we have friends meaning Mosev and Zambian Lunga. After the coup, Lungu had decided to go on with a plan but Chai Winka threatened to take every inch of Zambia within one hour. Lungu sat down with his generals who confirmed it as true. They admitted they would not stand Zimbabwean firepower. He tried to ask for assistance from Botswana and Botswana also refused citing the same shortfalls. When Mugabe was refusing to sign he didn't know about all these outside happenings. When Mugabe was finally shown the battered Trumbull and the dead Mosed snippers he knew totally well that their plan had flopped. Conclusion The battle between the generals and Trumbull is not stealing money but hiring Mosed to kill them. The battle between Chai Panga and the gunmen is not about corruption. No no no. But his knowledge about Mosed and the planned elimination of generals. Also think about it. Are Chai Panga and Chamba the only criminal elements the army wanted to wean off ZANU PF? We have nearly a full month now. Are they not able to arrest more? You the reader. Don't you know about other corrupt officials? Isn't it that the generals are presently dining with some of them? I look at things properly and with an analytic eye. This fight is personal. Story is first-hand information given to a jail guard by Trombo at his prison cell. True. Yeah.